Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm gonna go over uh, one of my products that I bought several months back, the Titan Hack Press Compact Leg Press Machine. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure how to film this, if I needed to put it on a big stationary tripod or if I needed to set this tripod down or whatever I needed to do. So kind of bear with me. Uh, I think this is one of those things where you kind of want to move around and kind of look at stuff. So uh, I hope that this turns out pretty well. Now, I'm not a reviewer. I'm not a professional reviewer. I don't claim to be. I'm just going to give you a, a little bit of the rundown on what this machine offers and my thoughts on it after several months of using it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of give you a little bit of insight on uh, what we think here. So again, it is the Titan Leg Press Compact Hack Squat, whatever you want to say. It's, yeah, you'll see it on their website. Now, the price right now is $699.99, and I don't remember if that's exactly what I paid or not. I can't remember. I bought mine uh, several months back, almost a year ago. So uh, it's going still pretty good. <clears throat> Still going fine, no issues. Forgive some of the darkness, I've only got so much light in here. So, uh, let's go over a few of the specs here. I just wrote down a few things, okay? Now this is a 35 degree angle uh, press. A lot of your m bigger type presses that you'll see in gyms and stuff, a lot of them seem to be more around the 45 degree angle. This is the 35 degree angle. And some of your bigger machines in that are a 35 degree, but a lot of them you'll see are 45s. So it is a 35 degree angle. Now, what does that mean? Well, in my humble opinion, without doing any research, uh, it has less of an angle, which means you have less weight, really, that you're having to push. It's not as hard to push on the 35 degree angle as if it was a 45 degree angle. So, uh, I do kind of wish that it was more along the lines of a 45. Uh, now, could you put something underneath the back? Uh, to raise it up? I don't know. I don't know if I would because then that the bottom frame part would uh, be off the ground. But uh, anyway, uh, you can try stuff out if you want. Um, let's go over a couple of the things here. It has 9.75 inches of Olympic horns. And they are chrome plated. <coughs> Chrome plated. And uh, they seem to do the job just fine. Uh, they seem to be holding up okay. Uh, it does ha have a 700 pound weight capacity, which is a lot of weight. Uh, most people will not outgrow that, especially, you know, once you hit, once you hit a certain age or whatever, you know, and a lot of us are not going for uh, you know, extreme crazy weight. So 700 pound weight capacity is a lot more than what you think. Uh, I've only got about 400 pounds, 490. I think I have either 390 or 490. I never forgot. <coughs> and uh, doing that on there is a lot of weight. Uh, the footprint, the footprint of the machine is roughly 46 by 60. Uh, it does have a diamond plated foot plate. That's roughly 25.25 inches by 23.25 inches. It is powder coated black, of course, like most things anymore. And it does have the badge, uh, Titan fitness badge back here. 
It's a nice little brushed aluminum looking kind of a badge. Uh, supposedly it has linear, uh, linear bearings on the guide rods for smooth operation. So whatever they want to call that. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, I couldn't find where they mentioned anything about the gauge, uh, the, the steel gauge, you know, the thickness of the steel. Most machines are going to roughly be 14 gauge or 11 gauge. I don't know. It seems like a lot of machines fall in that in those two categories. I'm not sure about this. I do know that it feels uh, secure. It feels like a, a good, decent built machine, and I don't believe that I'm going to break it. Even if I were to load 700 pounds on it, it, uh, you know, it, it feels the part. So, yeah. So I got a little something wrote down here. Uh, we're going to talk about the old elephant in the room. And if you've ever put one of these together, you know what I'm going to talk about probably. And that is number one, the lack of paper instructions, schematics, if you will. Titan Fitness does not give you paper instructions. You have to go online. That means you have to carry your little phone. Let me get my little phone. You got to carry your little phone with you and set this phone down with you and keep it with you at all times with Titan pulled up and find their little PDF of their machines and stuff and get it on there and have to zoom in and zoom out and zoom and scroll and look around. And your phone's timing out and shutting off and you got to turn it back on and you got to zoom in and zoom out and find where you're at and horrible horrible and i have a computer with two big old monitors but not in here it's in my office it's not in here in my gym i do have a laptop but i'm not over there using my laptop you're on the floor putting something together include instructions and they need to be well done instructions which leads me to the next issue, and that's the biggest issue probably, I guess. And that would be the spring that is included with the little mechanism that works the handle. I'll try and get a little picture, a little video here. Here's the handle, okay? And this handle moves. When you push up on the, on the bench, it releases. And you go like that, and that makes it free to move see and then you do like this and it, it latches down here and catches on a little hook now what the spring does is whenever you push the weight up to release the the lever so you can freely move it the spring automatically is supposed to make the lever you know release so you can start working out now it doesn't work. Uh, it's horrible. The instructions are horrible. It's kind of a known issue. Uh, months later, it went, a few months later, I guess, a couple months, few months, whatever it was, I finally got tired of dealing with it because it was grinding, taking the powder coating off my uh, machine on the bottom, underneath the bottom rail. And uh, so finally I was like, oh, okay, I'm done. So I unhooked the spring. The spring is still on there, and I don't think I can get a, I don't think I can get a video of it. But the spring is still on the handle mechanism, but I have it kind of unhooked where it's just kind of in there, and it still works perfectly fine. The spring is only made to automatically move the handle when you are ready to start working out. All you gotta do is reach down and pull the handle up. You don't need the spring, and so I don't know if anybody else knows that. So. And it's going to be hard to, you can't really video yourself here, but uh, when you go like this, and you lift up, you know, there, now it's ready to go. And then, now it's latched, now it don't move. So, uh, 
with the spring, it automatically pops up and then you can go. But like that, you gotta do it yourself. Uh, it's a horrible, hor horrible uh, design. I don't know who designed it, but it's horrible. And I know that there's other manufacturers out there that have pretty much these exact same uh, sleds. I mean, almost identical. And I don't know if they're the exact same as far as how that spring works, but if they are, that's horrible. So, and I don't think I can get a picture of it, a video. Yeah, I can. See, I unhooked the spring. It's just in here. See? Horrible design. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, once I finally unhooked that spring, I like the machine a whole lot better. So, uh, would I recommend the Titan, uh, the Titan Compact hack press, leg press, sled machine. I would, but at the same time, you can find some used machines on the marketplace and Craigslist <coughs> that might do the job better, like a more traditional looking sled. And it might even be the combo sleds that has the leg press and the hack squat built in, which is, you know, you're getting kind of two machines in one there. So, the, one of the main reasons that I went with this is because I could finance it. They allow you to finance, and that's what I did for one year. So, it'll be paid off, like, I think in June, and it is the end of January right now. So, we're getting close, and uh, the payments were really cheap, and uh, so that was the way that I went. Now, those of you that just have money floating around, you might be able to go on Marketplace and find a lot better option. So, for me, for someone who could afford a small monthly payment, this was a good option for me. Uh, is it something that I'll keep until the end of time? I don't know. If something better were to come along at a really, really, really good price and I happen to have some money, you know, there's options, you know, there's always that option. But I, kind of, I wanted to give you kind of a little rundown, a little review. I am, and also the padding is pretty good. The padding's, now you can tell how it kind of, how it's not like the tightest uh, vinyl, but it's okay. Uh, you do a lot of moving on there. You know, you got a lot of pressure. Uh, the vinyl, the vinyl is probably cheap. Uh, to some people it's okay to me and like I said you got a lot of pressure that's pushing on it and you're kind of moving a little bit and there's you know a lot of weight moving so it's holding up really well I, you know I'm okay with that it's a it's a good feeling bench and uh, I'm happy with that um let me touch on before I sign off I almost uh signed off before telling you but uh some of the frame was bent one piece um where the hook's down here I know you probably can't see, but the main frame comes down and hooks on that bottom piece and the pe and the part of that frame that hooks right there had a little wobble in it, a little, uh, not wobble, but a bend. So uh, I had to take my vice grips and kind of bend it out and get it straight again. And then also uh, this foot plate, um, this foot plate is crooked. Now you can't see it that well right now, but it it uh, has a lean to it, <coughs> and uh, it was real bad whenever I got it. Uh, it was real bad, like cocked or leaning, whatever. It, it just didn't. It, it wasn't super straight, I'll say. But what I did was I kind of stomped on it and kind of made it bent some stuff correctly you just gotta ignore that that's metal on metal so that's why the way it goes um but it was just it's a uh, kind of cocked a little crooked you know and uh but anyway i kind of slammed my foot on one side and kind of managed to bend it or whatever 
manipulate it a little bit straighter. So uh, it does it does have some issues. Titan is known to have some uh, issues with their uh, construction and you know kind of kind of their quality sometimes. Uh, I do think it's a good machine. I really do. It just it could be better. So anyway, that's kind of my little rundown of the Titan compact leg press hack squat machine. And uh, yeah, if you want, check them out. There's other brands out there as well. Check them out. And uh, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And uh, don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and we'll see you later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!